All right, we, f we finally made it to the Toys R Us that we promised you that uh, we were going to visit. And, uh, well, they do not have mon many good things on the shelf. Right actually. here we have a they even buy it, pilot pack. It. But they do have these uh, Toys R Us exclusive pilot packs. Yeah, they have pilot packs. They have a, a droid, like an R5-D4 type droid in there. They've got uh, Tyree from Gold 2. They got Jack Portman's guy didn't last long in episode four. It got blown up very quickly on the ride to the Death Star. He was Red Six, and then we had Davish Crail who was on Gold Five, and then we got a, a Mauler Mythil on Black Two from uh, the Dark Side of the Force. He uh, rode a Tie Fighter through there, and uh, yeah, they, overall they, looks like a pretty good, pretty good item here. They are pretty nice. The one I was looking for was the Ewok 5-pack that was exclusive to Toys R Us, but that one is pretty rare. I think this, this is about $39.99, or is $19.99. Very common, this one here. I really was looking for that Ewok pack. Yeah, I'm kind of upset I'm throwing things around, because every time I go to these stores, I never find what I'm looking for. So, that was pretty cool right there. Right there, we just have a lightsaber. Yeah, like a light. You can turn on the lights it's like, like that. It's a pink one right there. It's pretty in pink, that one. There it's we almost like Darth Vader's lightsaber in uh, Return of the Jedi when he fought Luke. We got a bunch of you know, common things on the shelves. We got these uh, pod racer pilots right Why here. Why don't you look at that? I got a Star Trek thing here. Mini Mites. These Rebel Pod Racer pilots. This one seems to be always overstocked too on the shelves. Um, I won't really get into too much. You got Dud Bolt, Mars, Kuo, Clegg Holdfast, Gasgano, Tinto, Pegles. I'll speak Chinese or something here. I'm trying to find some other other type of action figures, but it looks like the shelves are always picked clean. Walmart, Toys R Us, Kmart, Target. Oh, look at these. There's some Click nice that button there. right there. Catch me by my size, do you? Size matches back. Do. Or do not. This is we got Master Yoda there try. talking to you. For 800 years have I trained Jedi. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Thing to come out full screen. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really have too many things that are exciting here today. Let's see. What we got remote control, Rub Republic fighter tank. Comes with a pilot. As you can see, a driver. Not a bad item. Not sure what it goes for. Oh, $39.99 right here. The price tag $39.99. Star Wars. Interceptor, nah, it don't make any sense. These things are all misplaced, but they must be around the same price. I think I own one of these back home right now. It has a different color to it. It has a little blue or green in it. Yeah, it'll be big to look at how you bought it. That's, that's kind of neat right there. He's squishy. He rubbed his tummy. Looks like a giant dog toy right there. The dog would have that all over the, the floor when I got home with all the stuffing all over the place. Makes a little bit of noise. Shake it up. Very audible though. Barely audible. Yeah, you see these Kinda figures on the shelves. These are the vintage figures that have come out for like the last four years, but they right here, they always have the same figures all the time. A beautiful lightsaber. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it's always Obi Wan, Qui Gon, Battle Droid. You know, you never have any unique type characters on the shelves anymore. Right here. You put this mask on. Put the mask on. I'll show you. You got this uh, Darth Vader mask. One of us are going to try it on. we got to flip a coin to find out who's going to do it. Huh? I'm saying put it on. Let me put it on. Then. We're going to have one of us put it on. Sit here and on a high five. Right, they will be able to do later. I got $50. Alright, here we have a Darth Vader mask. 
this one's nice for Buzzy piece. Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, Budget Jedi would have a good time with this, but you know, my kids, I think they would really enjoy. I think the Jedi vlogger would appreciate that. All I need is a, a lightsaber to complete my outfit here. I can't seem to find a red lightsaber that I can grab. Right here we have a deluxe Darth Vader for CFX. Yeah, here, I'll pose for that right there. How, how's that look right there? That's beautiful right there. That's probably about a 150 dollars so. worth of items right there. <laughs> that, that's quite impressive right there. Well, enough playing around and good enough here. So now we're gonna look at some other things. Why are you going crazy? I was trying to get you to put the mask on. <laughs> right here, right here we have the exclusive Y-Wing fighter. Here, let's demonstrate this thing right here. This is only exclusive. This is a Walmart exclusive right here. This right here, Return of the Jedi Y-Wing. Doesn't come with any figures. I believe it's priced about $39.99. So, as you can see, it's in like one of the old classic type boxes. Got pictures of some of the action figures right here. Star Wars Vintage, the Vintage Collection. They only have one left. I guess this thing's been on the shelf for quite a while now. They just can't get rid of it. I'm hoping it goes on clearance because if it goes on clearance, I'll probably pick it up. For my personal collection, uh, Obi Wan's Jedi Starfighter. Some of the stuff's pretty nice, but right here we have a Star Wars electronic blaster. I like the, I like the noise that makes right there. Some of the sounds. That, there's other exclusive things on the shelves, but we just don't. Roof focus on Star Wars, but there's a lot of other brand Angry, angry Birds. Star Trek. I'm not really too much Trekky, but they do still sell Star Trek items here and there. Transformers are always a good 80's classic toy. G.I. Joe down the line here. Movie characters mostly. They used to have reintroduced some of the classic figures on the shelves, which I haven't seen in a couple few years. They used to have the Pursuit of Cobra, which I think has ended. They weren't reaching the shelves. They're keeping them out of stores for some reason. Now what else do we have here? It's interesting. 328. I think I'm gonna pick up this sound blaster. Are you sure that that's 328? That's what it says. It was originally that's seven. a good buy right there. Clearance. 328. Star Wars sound blaster keychain. Pretty interesting awesome. little collectible right there. I'd actually put that on my keychain. I wouldn't I'd put, take that out of the package, probably just put that on the... I wonder if this one's 328. Could be. I'll, I'll see if it is. <laughs> okay, we're going to follow him around. We've got Star Wars packs. You see this goofy looking guy on the camera? <laughs> it's a mini license plate with a magnetic bank. That's pretty interesting right there. They don't really have much of a Star Wars um, selection here at Toys R Us. I really am kind of... Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. Them, I'm very disappointed in what they have oh, here. Oh, well, I think this is a pretty good thing here. Lightsaber room light. <laughs> it changes uh, nine different colors right here. Ninja Mittens. I think old nin Ninja Mittens and, and Fat Kittens uh, ordered this one there. He uh, got it delivered at home. And he opened it up. He de uh, demonstrated one of his videos uh, on this. He never really uh, set the thing up so he could see how it works. I ain't about to buy it today. But it's a, definitely a future buy, a future purchase in my uh, future, near future. I will buy this. Hmm. Very interesting product. 
just by the way it changes colors. I guess you just put it on your wall, something like a nightlight type thing, but it changes colors. It's good for kids, and shoot, I would enjoy this anyway. I'd have fun with it. Well, what do you say, uh, crazy Ewok? What do you... Yeah, there ain't really much here, so probably won't go through too many more things today. We have, uh, I don't know what these are, two little piled racer type things, motorized, uh, something or others. Not really sure what that is. Not really in I'm interested in. Transformers crossovers, they've been doing these quite a few years, combining Transformers with Star Wars ships and characters. The concept of these are kind of cool, but not something that I'm really interested in. Here's some Star Wars anti-gravity balls. Very interesting. You got a good pair of balls there, right there in that package. It's a high bounce ball. Must have bounced really high. Probably lose them things on the first bounce. Won't be able to recover them. Right here, what is this? This is a Jedi Starfighter, Kit Fistel's Jedi Starfighter with a Anakin Starfighter 2 pack. Special value offer. I don't know, this might be an exclusive Toys R Us item that we're looking at here. I don't know what the price is. It's pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. I'm more interested in it. Episode 4, 5, and 6 uh, starships. And what's that right there? Night vision goggles. It's pretty interesting right there. Something kids would enjoy wearing. Right there. Well, I think our little video is over with here. Sorry, we're all a little disappointed. I know we disappointed you. We were hoping to find some exciting exclusive items that we were Hopefully gonna pick up here, but it looks like the shelves have been picked clean and most of the common items have Stuck around with dust all over them. They've been here for at least a decade it seems so until next time May the force be with you